What, what is for you the classicism, the classic in whiskey? What is the classic? Terrible question. Yeah, is, is, it, uh, is it the uh, very old style single malt? Or, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I, I in, see. In, in yeah. this direction. Yes, I, I think. In fact, do you think that there yeah. is a big difference between whiskey produced in the last time, time the old time, and the produced now? I, I, I think there are yes, undoubtedly there are differences. I think, yeah, and you look at everything which has changed within, say, within Scotch whiskey uh, over over that period. The barley varieties yes. are different. Uh, the yield is different. The the gravities are different. You used to have low gravity. The yeast strains uh, are different. Everybody uses the same yeast now. In the past, the brewer's yeast would have been used. Uh, uh, fermentations tended to be longer. Uh, Direct fire was more common. Uh, worm tubs were more common than condensers. Uh, Paxarette was used in, instead of sherry. You know, so all these all these things are are, are different. But I'm not saying it's it's better. It's impossible to say if it's better or not. Yes. I think the whiskies were undoubtedly different in those days. Okay. But the the good thing for me is when, when, I, when I'm looking for a whiskey, a single malt, what is the distillery character? You know, what is the singularity? Of the, single is the important one. What is the singularity of that whiskey? And if that is still being expressed, then that's fine. Yes. If it just becomes homogenous, then it's no point calling itself a single malt. You have to have individuality. So if that has been retained, and the process has changed slightly because of technology. That's the way. That's the way of the world. Because but, but if it, you know, if if the technology has overtaken it and made it, boom, everything tastes mm -hmm. the same. Everything tastes of vanilla. Everything just look there. I think those distillery now, for me, produce now obviously very interesting and very typical. Yeah. The style of the distillery. Yeah, I, 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 what, I agree. What, what do you no, think about? I agree, that? and I think Ben Romach is is a fascinating one because yes. Ben Romach. Uh, it's looking back to an old space side style. It's a, a little bit heavier okay. than what we think of as space side. Uh, and a little bit of smoke on there as well. Fascinating distillery. Uh, Kilhoman, uh, I, I tasted, just tasted the, the new Kilhoman, which is like okay. six, six years old now. Yes. And the first thing I wrote, uh, I, I, unconsciously, uh, I wrote classic Kilhoman style. I'm thinking, wow, hang wow. on. After, after six three years, or you know. It's and it's suddenly got depth. And the reason for that is. Obviously, taking care of production, but their wood policy has been fantastic, and the, the maturity of that whiskey at a young age. The difference in age and maturity. Uh, the maturity of Kilhoman is fantastic, and all these interesting distilleries are, I think, taking a lot of reference from the past. I'm not trying to be old whiskey necessarily, but looking and saying, "Well, this is a technique we want." What Jean Denis is doing at Glenelg. Yes. Yes, Classic exactly. example, you know, yes, just exactly. making, but attention to detail, okay. creating, you know, and it's so exciting. Remember John McClellan at Kilhoman saying to me, you know, we are creating our own history. Yes. yes. Yeah, it didn't exist, you know, we are creating our own history, yes. and that is, wow. <laughs> That's but, powerful. But it's, uh, it produces the orange. For 30% of the barley is produced by, by Kilcoman yeah. uh, on, on Isla. That's also yeah. very important. Yeah, I did. I did. Uh, I was on Isla. Yeah, we're, we're, we're going, to, going to live in Isla eventually. Uh, and I was on Isla talking to farmers uh, okay. the, the, this summer who were growing barley. And the, their greater understanding of their fields as to which are good fields, which are poorer yes. fields. Yes. Uh, that in itself, I mean, that's all new. It's not recreating what was old, this is all new. And it's going to be a very long, fascinating experiment to see what happens, what soil types, how do you treat it, you know, will there be a difference? There might not be. Uh, but I think the way in which growing the barley on Isla uh, is linking two communities in Isla, okay. the farming community and the distilling community, which has really never happened before. Uh, and that's, fa that's fantastic, it's fascinating, it's, it's so exciting. Um, I tested uh, the last Jura Toronto and I was, I think it was a very wonderful Jura. What, what do you think about it? Have you, you tested the Jura Toronto? I haven't tried the Jura. Uh, oh no, no, yes, I have. The, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, uh, yeah. with um, the Pierre, Le, La Pierre yeah. Levé. Yeah, no, very, very good. Very, very good. Yeah, very good. Jura for me, 
it needs and, time. And you for know. me, it's, yeah. what uh, I, I speak about you because it is it represents the, the past yeah. and the future. And the, yeah, yeah, yeah. the same whiskey I found. Yeah. I like that because I think now. Uh, in the shop, in the Dojo, we sell a lot of very young whiskey like Kilcoman, Ben Romac, Balekin, and so on. Uh, and we sell, we sell also all the whiskey. But I think it's important to, to know that in the future, the new consumer will have the chance to have a good whiskey also. What, what I, 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 think that's, I think that's very important. I think you're in Jura's case. Uh, Jura just needs time. It's quite hard spirit, you know. When it's young, it's it's very tense, uh, and it needs time just to, to relax. You know, so, so it needs that. I think it's important. Uh, I think that I have no problem with with young whiskies. I've got no problem with no age statement whiskies. Uh, I think they can be wonderfully creative, uh, uh, but I also love long, gently matured whiskies, which really give you an idea still of time passing. Yes, yes, yes. You know, that, that you, you, it's coming back to that, that, that point, that you have to take time. Not just bung it in a, a cask with lots of vanilla or lots of sherry cask yes, 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 and just get a big hit. Relaxed, long-term maturation just gives you something which is phenomenal and really gives you an idea of what the old whiskies are like. What creates in you emotion in whiskey today? What creates emotion in whiskey? I, I think what, what creates emotion for me is is the people, okay. is seeing people enjoying it. Uh, you know, I, I think we can get so intense about what's in the glass, uh, and rightly so, and looking at asking complicated questions to distillers. I like to step back and come to Whiskey Live or, or, or any event and just look at who is drinking it uh, and see a new generation coming through, seeing yes. young people drinking whiskey, seeing young women drinking whiskey, yes. people falling in love with it. Uh, that's what that's what inspires me. Uh, and, to, and still talking to distillers because we never know everything. No. You know, I'm not an expert. I hate being called an expert because... No, 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 I'm not, I'm not, no. But you, you I know, understand. You know, understand. I, you know, I, 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 Yes. We've got Eddie McCaffer downstairs, you know, who's been 49 years working in the facility. That's an expert, you know, uh, and learning, continuing to learn from the great people. Yes. Uh, th that's what keeps me inspired. Okay. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you then. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Merci.